We're following a tragic story out of Greenfield tonight where the family of a 10-year-old boy tells us their son died by suicide due to bullying. And unfortunately, experts tell us bullying is becoming more and more common, especially among elementary and middle-aged students. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman spoke with the father of 10-year-old Sammy and shows us just how he wants his son to be remembered. I just want him to never be forgotten. Ten-year-old Sammy Toish was known for his kindness, his energetic personality, and his love of the outdoors. To put that little boy into words is just, you know, impossible. The, the people that, that got to know him are definitely blessed to, you know, have known, have known him. On Sunday, Sammy's father woke up to something that no parent should go through, a nightmare that he says he will never wake up from, the death of his youngest son by suicide. How would God take this, my kid from here? You know, of course that's went through my head. God didn't take my kid from there. Hate did. Sammy's parents say he was bullied both physically and emotionally, something Greenfield Central School says is under investigation. His father says Sammy was recently beat up on a school bus, and just last week he was cornered by bullies in the school bathroom. I got his, his, gla his broken glasses are sitting in there in a little memorial shrine that my kids made. And Sammy is not alone. A lot of other kids face bullies every single day, which in recent years has become a lot more common. That's why the Hancock County prosecutor says there needs to be more communication between students, staff, and parents to prevent more of these incidents from happening. If we have a, a, an environment where you know young people have what they believe to be a safe place where they can go to somebody with those concerns and even if they may be difficult you know or embarrassing that they feel safe and letting people know that there's maybe things where they think they're being harassed or bullied that'll help a lot I mean and so we want to start there and we want to work together to do that the Toishas hope Sammy's legacy will continue to live on and more will be done to protect kids like him going forward I want his image to be a source of empowerment for children that feels like they can't come to somebody and speak. Reporting in Greenfield, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News. Hannah, thank you. Our hearts going out to Sammy's family there tonight. As we said, the district is doing an investigation now into these bullying reports. They're also working with police. The district has mental health professionals at all of its schools for students who do need extra support. Remember, if you or anyone you know is struggling right now, there is help out there for you. The Suicide Crisis Lifeline is available 24 hours a day by calling or texting 988.